Hey guys, Jesse and Sebastian here. Hola. Hey, sorry it's been so long. The uh, holidays have been crazy, as I'm sure it has been for you guys as well. So anyway, in the meantime, we actually got a chance to watch Future Man on Hulu. Awesome show. <laughs> awesome. So what happened was I was home sick and I watched Future Man. I literally kind of binge watched the whole thing in one day and the show just screamed Sebastian. So it was like, oh my gosh, you need to watch the show. It's a show by Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg. It just reminded it just, me of you. Yeah. Like the humor reminded me of you. It was just a funny, funny show. It's basically about a guy that so he's in like a like a dead end job and like he's not really happy and he finally completes this video game that no, no one else be. yeah no one else has completed then he finds out that it's actually not a video game it's a training course so to speak and i'll leave you with that because i don't want to give too much away but they um, but, and that the characters in the game are actually real but people. not to give too much away because people thought we will but also too what was really surprising on the show is that it was a really great complete story so there was a story to bring you in aside from the crude humor and i think that that sells growth on seth rogan as a film director and all as a director yeah and honestly i didn't even know that seth rogan had a hand in it but you know oh. what finding out that he did i was like yeah that sounds about right <laughs> so it wasn't too crude i don't think like it kind of oh. made fun of a lot of different it took, I don't know, it didn't cross the line for me, but I don't know. But I feel like it, it made fun of a lot of different genres. It did. But at the same time, it still stayed true to its own storyline, and it was still a complete story. It's the first season, so at the end, you're, there is something more that you're like, okay, what's gonna happen it's, it's next, a, you know? It's but, set up for season two. It's right, exactly. I wasn't, I, I, I wasn't mad. But it was, it's very like, it's a light show. And it's, there's a little bit of time travel. There's a lot, there's a lot of bit of time travel. There's, um. Put it this way. It, kind of post-apocalyptic sort of, but it's it's not, it isn't. If, if people have running jokes about Barry Allen from The Flash messing up the timeline. Oh my gosh, they're the worst. <laughs> they're worse than Barry oh Allen at God. messing up the timeline. Like, oh. what? You're like. You. What? And honestly, there's like, sometimes they don't even care. Like, they don't even go back to fix it. I'm just saying. And I'm just like, <laughs> but like, but you have to see the show <laughs> to see funny. the out. It's, but again, going back to the part that it makes fun of old 80s pop culture movies, there was a movie that was like that. So it makes right. fun of that. Wolf is gonna probably be everybody's favorite character. Wolf, I love Wolf. I like Wolf, Wolf too, is, but I, I really like Tiger. That's Tiger's cool too. Tiger is yeah. awesome. Well, I also Ice think that like tone. this type of show, you wouldn't think that there would be much character development, <laughs> but if they actually they evolve, yes. the characters evolve. And, it, <laughs> and I think that that's the funny part. It's like it's you really it catches you off guard. You don't expect the characters to go this route, and what the actors did with even with the, the the three main characters, even all the side characters, it was completely awesome of where the story went with these characters even yeah. even the guy who was the supposed villain on the show and even uh what was it uh, Haley joe osmond he's hysterical <laughs> Haley joe osmond is in this show and he's hysterical also that's i think that's really like the kind of fun thing about this show is that there's so many unexpected turns that you're like wait what like you're like you think you know what's gonna happen next and like to some degree you might be right but like it just like you're like well, like, what? It, like, it doesn't and it doesn't. It's, take it's it. fun, you know. Like it's fun. And you could expect it to be a fun show because like there are moments where you feel like okay, it gets a little heavy with the stuff, but then it really doesn't take itself seriously. It's like it's a great middle ground between exactly. wanting to watch a comedy and wanting to watch a, a, a heavy action show. It, it has a great middle ground. But I will say, this is not like a family show. No. It's not for kids whatsoever okay um, you learned that with the first episode there is yeah there is we're not gonna give it away but you learned yeah. it with the first episode <laughs> but anyway our, there's so, so many things i want to say and i can't we, i don't want to spoil the show for it, people right it's just, and it's, it's also kind of it's a little goofy and like i don't yeah. know like we really i really enjoyed it and usually like i feel like usually i don't really enjoy the same type of 
And I kind of like, keep, keep, like I love it. Yeah, I, I kind of like to keep the I, Keith David's also always awesome watching him on screen because he he obviously the voice of gargoyles. Um, he mm -hmm. was Childs and the the thing. One of my all time favorite movies. But I think all around we really enjoyed this first season of Future Man. We're looking forward to season two, and yeah, give it give it a try. Check it out. See if you like it. It's um, on Hulu, it's a Hulu original show. And it's only like 12 or 13 episodes or something like that, so it's really... And the episode's only 30 minutes yeah, long. Yeah, um, it's really, it's really... Well, you know, you probably... If you can binge watch, watch Stranger thing. Things, you'll be able to binge watch yes. Future Man. Yeah, uh, we hope you enjoyed this review. <laughs> and if you have shows that you want to recommend to us, um, leave it in the comments below. We're always looking for good shows to watch yes. on our downtime. Absolutely. And let us, if you've already watched Future Man, uh, let us know what you thought about it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And we also have an Instagram and a Facebook, so check it out. It's Jesse and Sebastian. Check out the Embion Mag, embionmag.com. Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you everyone for subscribing. Check out all the links will be available on the bottom. I hope you guys enjoy the holidays and uh, let us know some of your holiday traditions that you guys are going through this year. Well, you guys are you spending Christmas with the family, with if it's a significant other. <laughs> let us know your plans too. Thanks. Yes. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye guys.